Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past video we have learned uh, how to change, uh, I mean default port of uh, embedded server in a uh, Spring Boot web application, right? Uh, in this video tutorial we will learn uh, how to change context path uh, in a Spring Boot web application. So uh, we have created we had created a lot of uh, a spring boot web application uh, till it and uh, in this video we will walk through how to change uh, a spring boot context path uh, there are many ways to change the default context path in a spring boot web application the default context path is slash we can change the context path by configuring server dot context path property in property file as well as in the command line uh, uh, command line uh, as argument with java commands we can also configure server context path as os environment variable as well as in eclipse environment variable to change context path or context root a spring boot also provides api to change context path programmatically so let us let us discuss the steps to change the context path uh, by using an example so what i'll do this is the project which we had created in our previous video tutorial and there we have seen how to change i mean default port of embedded server in a spring boot so i'm going to make another copy of this project in the same workspace so i'll i have copied and I just i'm going to paste in the same workspace and uh, i will give the project name as a spring boot change context path context path web app and let's click on the ok now you can see there is some error because maven is trying to download all maven dependency from uh, maven repository and all dependency have been downloaded and added in this directory maven dependency now if i go to the here then here uh, we have a already written a class this class this class for time being i'm going to comment it all right and uh, we have a, a spring bootstrap class this is our bootstrap class so this is uh, basically a starting point of our Spring Boot application. Here uh, we have created a class which is annotated with at, at rate a Spring Boot application. And here application, a Spring application class uh, we have used to create uh, an object of it. And there we have passed this class as an argument. And uh, we got the reference of a Spring application and just we are calling its run method by passing program argument right command line arguments so that's it and this method locally i have written but this is as of now it is commented so this this code snippet will not be executed and i want to keep as it is as of now now we have a one controller in this class uh, that is called rest controller right and which is a rest api very it's a very simple api which it, uh, when you query our, our home directory of home sorry home uh, when we'll hit home page of this application, then this is going to return hello world on the uh, browser, right? So if uh, we have, a, if you go to the resources, then we have a application dot property. Their server dot port we are given nine zero nine zero. If you do not specify this property, then Tomcat, which is the embedded server in a Spring Boot, will start on the eight zero eight zero default port number. So let's start this uh, application and uh, let's. Uh, hit its base URL, right? So now Tomcat server is gonna start, and you can see Tomcat is started on 9090 port. And if I go to the browser and I type http colon slash slash localhost, and port number we have a 9090 slash, then this is gonna return us hello world, right? So here you don't need to specify basically a uh, project name or context path so when you create uh, any web-based application using a spring mvc or any j2e like jsv servlet then you need to specify always project name as a context path most of the scenario people keep the context path as project name but uh, still if you create a web-based application then uh, this context path you can add it and you can uh, you can uh, name as uh, as per your choice so here uh, basically uh, here we want to change our context path 
so first approach uh, by using property file right so we can change context root and server port right uh, using property file or yaml file by configuring context uh, server dot context path or server dot port property right so server dot port already we have seen suppose we want to uh, create uh, context path as uh, like uh, as like a project name itself then how we can do that so here we will have to add a property uh, server dot context path this is the property i was talking about and you will have to see give slash and project name so here i am specifying context path as just like a project name but you are free to choose this context name anything whatever you want now uh, you can see server has restarted because in pom.xml i have added dev tools and when you add dev tools uh, dependency on the class path then you don't need to really when you make any changes in the source code then you don't need to really restart the server now if i go here and here i can query this url then we'll get the response like you can see now we are getting the response in in that way you, we can we have changed i mean default uh, default context root from slash to slash a spring boot change context path web app like this and we are getting the response right so this is the way this is the first approach we have learned uh, we can how we can change the uh, default context path of a spring boot application right so there are many approach uh, approaches are there to uh, achieve the same so this i'm gonna comment right now now what i'll do uh, now i'll kill the server and go to this main class a main uh, spring boot class i go to the run edge and here we have option run configuration and uh, in this run configuration uh, you have a environment let's click on the new and here you can specify the environment name as uh, server context path server context path and value will have to specify like this right so here i'm gonna ch change context path like my fab app something like this and come apply and run so this is gonna run now i'll copy this url i'll open a new tab and i'll try to query with uh, my fab app and uh, here uh, let me check out what uh, so what name I had given so go to the run as configuration and here environment and here I have given this name my web app server okay okay, okay. this uh, sorry guys uh, this there is some spelling mystery server context uh, context path and uh, apply uh, apply and what I'll do I'll kill the server and I'll restart the application again and once server is restarted successfully then you can uh, hit this URL and here we get the output so this is another way to change the uh, context path of a Spring Boot application now I go to the uh, run configuration here and I'll remove this entry so that I can show you another approach as well so just have removed and uh, we have another approach uh, so there are two more approaches and these approaches is basically programmatic way so here I'm going to uh, okay so let it come let it be commented as of now it uh, this uh, approach and here uh, here we have a local method right and that I have shown you in previous video tutorial how to change the port number of the server similar basically we will have to create uh, applica uh, a spring app a spring application object and there uh, we have called the set port method uh, by passing a spring application uh, reference and here we have created a, a map in this map you can set the all property which you want to change so we have set it here port number right 
sorry guys this is so here port method we can call and here we can uh, specify the key as we can specify key as server context path so server underscore context underscore path so sorry this should be in double quotes server context uh, path and value we can specify whatever you want like uh, slash my app here app given okay and uh, after saving uh, I think server we have killed now this map we have to pass it over here uh, so uh, spring application as a method is called set default property let's run it again and at this time uh, let me go to here and here port number also I'm gonna comment so if you look into this class port number we are setting 8585 so now application is gonna start on the port number 8585 and context root as my app slash my app so now I go to here I copy this URL I paste it over here and port number in this case we have a 8585 8585 and our context root is my app and if you press enter then we get the response that means this is working perfectly fine now i'm going to comment it and last but not the least approach so this is the next approach and here uh, basically we'll have to create a class by implementing a callback interface is called embedded server container customizer and this class has to annotate it with at the rate component or at the rate service and this interface is having a method uh, is called customize that you will have to override and here you'll get the reference of uh, configurable embedded server content servlet container and here you can set a lot of things so earlier we have set it uh, a server port number here you can have a method is called set context path and here you can set the context path like uh, slash my pair uh, app something like this right and once you've done then save it and dev to says uh, on the class path so server has restarted with uh, port 7171 so go to here and here we'll have to change the port number if you try to access this url then nothing will get so because now our application is running on the port 71 so it's 71 right 7171 with uh, context root uh, context path my app so let's press enter uh, let me check out so so our server port okay okay context path is my web app not my app so here you will have to specify my web app and if you press enter then we are getting the response so i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, this code I am going to put on the GitHub and GitHub location you will get in the video description itself. So if you have any doubt or any question then please do post below to the video. I will try to answer those queries and I request you to please subscribe my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this video and see you next video.